movieweb.com. think so. Bet I can quit school and you can loan me out to a circus and I'll make gobs of money. No one in this family has any imagination. Judy Moody and the Not Bummer Summer. So I, I wanted to ask you, uh, how does the elementary school librarian in you feel right now <laughs> <laughs> all of this? <laughs> um, well, kind of overwhelmingly joyful because... This is something, honestly, I just never really imagined. So when I wrote that first book, I didn't even know I was going to turn it into a series. And so kind of each step of the way, it's been a surprise, a delight. And um, it's so humbling to think of, you know, millions of kids the world over reading about your characters. And now with a film, I just feel like Judy Moody is going to reach such a wide audience, it's going to yeah. be fantastic. Now, typically in these situations, um, a really popular book like this gets sort of taken by the studios and writers yes. and directors and everyone gets involved and, and even, uh, you know, it's like the writer has to kind of sit back and hope for the best. But you've been very involved in this movie, uh, particularly in Finding Your Judy. Can you tell me a little yeah, bit about that? I, I you know, this is my first experience with it, mm -hmm. so I didn't really even realize at the beginning how unusual this was, but I got a call one day. I mean, I had met originally with our producer, Sarah Siegel Magnus. She had so much enthusiasm for Judy Moody and for the books and having read them with her daughter that I just was like, she is the one for this project. <laughs> well, then one day she called me and said, Megan, you know, I've been reading all these scripts and looking for writers, and she said, I just had this idea you're the creator, how would you feel about writing this screenplay? <laughs> so um, I kind of fell off my chair, and then once I <laughs> picked myself back up... Yeah, you I can't thought, watch it and go, this, this isn't true to the yeah, characters. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So I thought... The writer would hate this. Well, what an amazing opportunity that I would get to create whatever story it's going to be. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I have friends who have had books turned to film, and I think it is a little scary to think... What are they going to do with my well, characters? Well, I always think about uh, when Anne Rice, when Tom Cruise was cast as Lestat, and she was so angry about it, I think she took oh, out an ad. Oh, and then after oh, the my. film came out, she sent him flowers because she thought oh, he did a great job. But, oh. but yeah, but tell me about the, the Skype audition for Judy. That's so, crazy. So I don't really have you know anything to do with the casting, but again, the producer, because I was the creator, she said, you know, I'd love to see or hear from you. Mm -hmm what your image or idea of Judy would be. So she said, just go do an internet search, and if you find anybody that kind of suggests Judy Moody to you, let me know. Wow. So I just went and did this search, and um, up popped an article that had, you know, a handful of sort of up-and-coming young actresses, and there was Jordana Beatty's picture and a whole article about her, and I just... It was one of those moments... It, I saw her picture, she had this wonderfully wild red hair, curly hair, mm -hmm. and this wonderful smile, and she's smiling out at me from this picture, and I, it just stopped me. I was like, there she is, that's <laughs> Judy Mooney. Never dreaming it really would get to be her, but so I immediately sent that article in the picture to the producer, and um, I think that was what prompted Sarah to, um, invite Jordana, you know, they got in touch and invited mm -hmm. her to audition. Well, because she lives in Australia, she had to audition through the computer. So, yeah. and you know, she talks about how there were delays and all that. I'm sure that was difficult. And she had a lot of callbacks and video chats. But then one day I got the call that she was the actress they had chosen. Oh, so, so incredible. It's so very, incredible. very thrilling. Now, I'm uh, the proud father of a three-year-old daughter. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I love comic books. I love superheroes. I love magic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, I love watching The Little Mermaid with her. Yeah, um, yeah. But I, I really like that Judy Moody is, she's not supernatural, she's not magical, she's a kid. She's a real, fun. everyday kid that I think other kids connect with. We had an early screening where my three-year-old niece was there, and three years old, she just sat there mesmerized. <laughs> it's very colorful, very visual, very funny. So I think even girls that age, our kids that age, um, find something yeah. to like in Judy Moody. Judy Moody and the Not Bummer Summer. Ride an elephant today. Oh!